Right, listen, I know this is a weird time to decide to start a vlog. My room's completely trashed. It's raining outside. It's uh, 27 minutes past 8. But good news, my set arrived. I'll quickly show you guys this. So, this is the set I was referring to in the picture. Those are the many figures I can. The book I have does not have law on the same page, but yeah, here it is. Um, 75044 Droid Tri Fighter. So, I finally have a 2014 set, which I didn't have any of, it turns out. I was surprised by this. So, I'm sitting. The set came built. I'm going to take it apart to do the stickers. The stickers on this are slightly awkward, so it's been a case of mucking around with those and, you know, trying to sort it out. In other news, new work boots are exactly the same as the old ones, because, you know, when a set of work boots lasts you essentially for six, nearly seven months, it's kind of like, well, wouldn't I want that same pair again? So, here we are. My nan is here, she's sitting, very sitting, my brother and sister are about to go to bed, so once they're settled and asleep, my nan will leave. So I'll have the house will be basically, you know, it'll always be me told my dad and I get back around right, like one or two in the morning. So, yeah, I am really tired. I've been up since like one. I went to sleep around nine, so that's what, four hours? Uh, that wasn't enough. I'm still feeling tired. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I'm just not completely there yet. But in this clip, we're going to do a bit of room cleaning, a bit of sorting. Um, I think the first thing we want to do, though. Obviously. Um, what I need to do is I'm going to try and do some stuff to keep myself awake. So I'm going to be reorganising my shelving. I'm excited. So I'm going to continue quickly doing the stickers of the set. But I mean, some cool minifigures, obviously, you get. Now, a battle droid ain't the coolest minifigure in the world. If you're in the Lego Star Wars, you'll know these things are a dime a dozen. But the cool, one of the cooler figures in this set, Security Battle Droid, it's a variant of one. And then, of course, we've got Pal Chancellor Palpatine and his kidnapped thing. Here's the whole reason I went looking for this set, was this one minifigure, because I was like, you know what, I kind of want this set. Because I, it's just a figure that's known in the LEGO Star Wars community, but the set itself isn't the uh, 2014 Droid Trifer. I love the 2014 box art. Yeah, It's a cool wave those, set, those sets are from. So let me quickly finish this, and we'll be right there. Alright, set's done, so I like it. Got, finally got something to add to the separate story, because that's like, yeah, I wanted the Palpatine to try and have all the Chancellor versions of Palpatine, but I also wanted this set for another reason, and that was probably just, you know, because it'd be kind of cool to have something in the droid army that isn't, because all I have in it is the Malevolence, the two snail tanks, and the proton cannon, you know. And it's, until I added the Malevolence last year, it was actually just free vehicles, so happy to finally get something done that. Some cool mini figures and stuff. So basically, we're going to be taking apart the shelving, um, or some of it at least, in this clip. But before I do that, I'm going to quickly go around the room and pick up any stuff from the floor. I will quickly point out as well. Um, yeah, despite this going to end up being us, this vlog starting late, it will hopefully should not be too short. So I'll quickly go around and deal with all the clothing and stuff. Just going around picking. This is about like ten. Do I have twelve minutes? Probably as far as this one goes. So yeah, I've got two boxes lying around, the one for the set and the one for the boot. No wait, the boots are staying in their box. I'm an idiot. So there's more just this side of the room I want clear. Um, been on my look at custom clone troopers as well, so that's been kind of cool. But today's been a bit of a busy one, so it's really why the vlog didn't start any earlier. But unlike the last few, the next couple of vlogs should be, you know, have a decent length, you know. It should be more than just, you know, the night shift. Well. So here's what I'm thinking. I've, for the last, what, maybe a month, I've had this displayed by, you know, movie, is how I find it. So this side, this section here is a bit more randomised, kind of stuff that just didn't fit. But we've got episode one, two, the Clone Wars, three, which is where the Trifighter would go. Episode 4, 5, and 6 has a lot of stuff, mostly because of the UCSB wing. And up here we have kind of some more, kind of just other stuff that didn't fit in those other categories, like, you know, Bad Batch stuff, a few cool more sets. So, there's a couple, there's, there's a way we can do this. I want to check if i got any spare tubs, just so I can remove all those mini figures without making a huge mess of them. It'd be helpful if I had, like, an extra tub I could use. So 
Do you know yeah, I'm doing a... I'm, one second. I can literally always restart those parts. Um, this means I'm not having to fill a bit with the drawers with the minifigures. So, yeah. Um, the minifigures from my new set are going to go in first. Because they're going to end up on the shelf anyway. Um, so, I might as well just put them in. But what I'm going to do now in this clip here is I'm actually going to go up and down the shelf removing all minifigures from the sets as well. I think. And then going from there. So, let's... Let's start removing. So see once all these minifigures are in that top. Let's see how far it fills up. So that's shelf one and that's two of them already done. Already starting to fill up, so yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Definitely fills up. See with the Rancor in there and Jabba the Hutt. That's all the original Star Wars done, so let's move on to the prequel era. And Clone Wars, so let's go go. Oh yeah, I forgot we also have to do the Death Star. <laughs> So, some of the set, one or two sets have been removed and I'm sure they're just, you know, displaced a little bit and moved, but... Oh, damn. I also did take the minifigures, you know, from the Death Star as well. So, I just want to take them all in one go, so... That's good, we have the minifigures. We also appear to have broken that. That's great. So, there's one more thing left for me to do here, and it's to put everything on the bed that will be going on the shelf. You know, just what we usually do. Mind you, come to think of it, I don't know if I've really done anything like that on this channel yet, like... But, uh, who knows, first time. See, my kind of rule is, is I only really change it the shelf when I'm getting a new set. Yeah, even though it's a small set, this Tri-Fighter, that still warrants it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys once everything's been removed. The only thing that's not coming down is the B-Wing. Because all this stuff about the Titanic, my YouTube recommendation, like, got like a live feed of the wreck, so... Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm not even sure what part of the wreck that is. Anyway, here's a giant-ass Lego comic. Not even all my Legos. So the shelves are being stripped. That one up there hasn't. Those ones there haven't. And up there, the B-Wing is still up there. So... I have a few alterations already in my head, like a few things I already know what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get busy and kind of dust, because you, know, you might be able to see how bad these are, but I really want to get these clean, so see once that's been done. Right, so it's clean. So like I said, this clip is most likely to go 12 minutes long, so which is probably longer than what most of the vlogs have been recently. It's currently 13 minutes past 9, obviously, time taking to do, do all this and doing that. And so... There's no face thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to still kind of have it organised by obviously the Death Star has a bit of a superpower over just about all other sets I have. It's from more than one movie. So I can actually have this be the episode 4 Death Star or the episode 6. That's purely just up to me. Unfortunately, it is extremely dusty. This set does not like to stay clean just for whatever reason. So I want to put it up there. I want to have like my... All my big sets up there, in fact, one second, I'm actually going to remove the mystery machine and interceptor from there, just for safety reasons. That just helps me, you know, I'm going to go adjusting the B-Wing, I then, you know, can adjust the B-Wing. There's a thing still on. Right, so let's get that dead. We'll do this too, actually. There's nothing that really take around at the death store, nothing that could be a risk to it. Obviously off camera, but let's get up there. Admittedly, it will feel weird not having the Death Star set here, but trust me, I like where this is going. So, here we go. We have the Death Star here. See, up until, I think, March, this is where it sat. Like, this thing sat there. The only reason the Death Star ever went down there is when I bought my second Republic gunship, I have the 2008 and 13, and when I bought the 08 one, I thought, I want them next to each other. The top shelf at the time is only where I could do that, but, you know, I'm happy to go back to form. But that nice tie interceptor kicking about this is going well right so next i'm going to implement java's palace and the rancor pit see my biggest sets all up next to each other though that that's cool so i would maybe put something there if i can if like if i have anything else there's return of the jedi or just like good rock really nicer um i end up putting the mushroom machine there with the minecraft set i don't know um, got the little interceptor up there like I showed you guys, it's not looking too bad. The only disadvantage is 
the home one is now homeless, unfortunately. Um, but the B wing looks too good there to move back to that shelf. So maybe the home one goes there. But for now on, it's until I really figure that out, it's gonna sit there. So now looking at um, I'm just gonna spend a couple of minutes going through this, um, picking like the ones I know off the top of my head where they can go, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys once I've done some of that. I admit it's a bit more than a few minutes, but we've got the gun gun stuff in here. I'm trying to figure out here kind of what the best idea would be. I'm just not too clear. I've got the episode 2 gunship just chilling there. I'm going to have the door open with, because like, I'm going to have so many figures and a couple of them. We've got that 08 gunship there just chilling, the Clone Wars one. We're doing the movie thing, so episode 6, 5, 4, 3, Clone Wars 2, and 1. I'll just go like that. Um, one thing I have managed to get down is I really like this thing. I've got referring to Revenge of the Sith. So we've got kind of the Obi Wan and Anakin starfighters or interceptors rather. We've got the Tri Droid back. All I really need here is the Vulture Droid. That would be really cool. There was a Vulture Droid that came out at the same time as this, so maybe I'll get this. I'm getting a hundred quid in a couple of weeks. Um, as part of what I'm owed, so maybe that's what that'll pay for. Shit, I have still got this one. It's the front of Titanic. Oh, just background. Honestly, I thought there'd be some like, like, this will sound really dumb, but sea noises. Right, I'm gonna have a little bit more muck around, and I'll be right back. So, this will be a last little update here. There'll be more, we'll be a big one later. I have some vlogging material which I have to upload. It's 10 to 10, so she's gonna leave in a moment. Um, which I, so let me show you what I've got done so far. So, I mean, I've got kind of things where they need to be. Still experimenting here. Now, I had this idea. So, I love Return of the Jedi. First Star Wars movie I saw. So, as you can see, I put a lot of effort into this display. Now, I had everything, but I'm like, wait, I can't have the Mon Calamari cruiser. Then I remembered, wait, that set is designed to separate because it's got this lock mechanism. You pull out the pen and it separates. So, now I can have it. The hangar hog has put one of those cubes. I was like, that is a genius idea. But, you know, everything else is kind of the way it would work. I'm loving the Revenge of the Sith one. The Clone Wars one got plenty of space for minifigures, as does Attack of the Clones. So, yeah, there is all this stuff here that needs figuring out. Some of it's obvious, like the little half pieces will go up in half and whatnot. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do this, chill, put a movie on. Um, she's actually just left. Um, so that's how there's a cut there on the camera. And you can actually see the stain where the car was. Is that showing up? Yeah. Oh, cool. So anyway guys, gonna go. I'll see you guys later on. So we're ending this. It's fucking coming up for half past one in the morning. I drifted off falling asleep. We did the shelving, but not completely. I'm just getting changed as we do this. This has ruined my long vlog idea, but tomorrow I'm meeting up with Cody for one o'clock. So we're gonna go to CEX. Unfortunately my Nintendo DS seems to have Completely vanished, so we're gonna sell the games, get some extra cash, we can jump up to the Lego store and you know, just have a bit of fun tomorrow. Um, my family's actually about to come home. I'm honestly struggling to stay awake at certain points there. Um, my body is just giving out. See if I'd had the full kind of day of sleep I would typically get when doing one of these, we wouldn't have this real problem really. Eh, anyhow. Also, I'd like to report I did not finish my display um, completely. See, I've done the minifigures for episodes 1, 2, 3, and the Clone Wars, but the original, the button was going for flash, but you can see them in there. I've done a really good job. I like this bit here. You can see behind the light up this window, it should look good because there's no flash. Um, all of my episode 3 style clones, 2 pilots, 2 regulars, 2 store corps. It's a bit bland here and there, but hey, got some bits to work on, work on those tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a lot. Longer, I've kind of fumbled it tonight, falling asleep. Hey, loving this 2014 style box. Weirdly enough, it opens at the bottom. Now, there's no thumb taps on the back, so that. Oh, wait, there is it, that's the bottom. It's a weird looking Lego box. Okay, anyway, guys, listen, I'm gonna get going to bed. See you, sir.